This video will show you how to start recording on your Avalonix DVR Pro 16 or the DVR 16H. Once you've pulled up and you've turned on the DVR, you have a camera connected to it and you have a mouse connected to it. This demonstration shows you how to use the mouse like all of our demonstrations do. There is a record button on the front of the unit. If you do go and hit and press it on record, you'll see that if you hold it down for about three to five seconds, a red dot pops up in your video. So I'm gonna do it again and you'll see that my channel one, I'm pressing the record button now, a red dot pops up and starts blinking. So it starts recording. Now that's just for motion-based recording. If you wanna record all the time and you simply just don't care about the motion detection, we're not gonna cover motion detection for this DVR in our videos. So for recording all the time, you take your mouse, you press the right mouse button once. After you press it once, you'll see on the bottom there is a date time menu that pops up. The listing on the most right hand side tells you how many hours of recording you have available. Uh, that means how much free disk space you have. So here we can record 2,648 more hours. You right click one more time it brings up this um, setting menu where you can select different options. The first one is the system settings. The gear is the system settings. The play lets you go back into replay back mode for the video. And the red button is of course for recording. And if you press this red button, like I'm gonna do now, it will start recording all channels that are connected to video. And in this case, channel one, you'll see that we have a red dot that stays put. That means this is recording all the time. If we go back by right clicking once, you pressing the mouse right click button once and you press it a second time, it will bring you back to that menu. You can stop the recording by clicking on the stop button here and that red dot will go away. Just to show you what other options are available on this menu bar here, You've got mute if you want to turn off your buzzers or if your DVR is making too many sounds. You can click on the mute button. There is a lock button here, a key lock. Basically, it locks your DVR from any kind of user input from a mouse or keyboard unless you hit the unlock button. We're not going to, we suggest you don't use this because if you don't know your password and you try to get back into it, it won't let you and you would have to send the unit back to us for a factory reset and that's done at an additional cost where you will have to cover all shipping charges for that then you have your PTZ option here you can do also auto sequencing and you've got a magnification button uh, you can toggle with these and um, play around with them a little bit All right. so this video's main purpose was to show you how to enable manual recording on your DVR